Hello everyone. I'm going to check here if it start at the right place. Believe it or not, I started uh, different again on live YouTube. And it look I'm right there. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, I think we are on. Now I'm going to see if I can see the comments. Uh, Hmm. If somebody can put a comment, so then I can see it's a completely different screen at my end. Not at you guys' end, but at this end, it's completely different. So let's see. Um, hmm. I see myself here. Okay, I see the comments there. Okay. Uh, let's see here hmm well that's not good I don't like that <laughs> I don't want to click something that's gonna okay well I just gonna keep it right here that's it. Here we go. I'm going to put that right there. That should do it. So welcome everyone to Create on the Fly. Uh, tonight, uh, should I say I cheated? Mm, I don't know. I created today and I cannot wait to share that card. But I am not sharing it till we're going to be done with it. Um, I had something in mind and I decided to try that and I'm like, oh my goodness, I cannot wait to sh share that. So it's a little bit of a scenery of wildflowers that I call it. I love to do scenery and um, are you on a new system? Oh, can you guys hear me? It's not a new system. It's uh, the way that uh, Facebook update their live. Okay, now I'm wondering, I think I heard the voice. System, it's uh, the way that uh, Facebook update their live. Okay, and um, I, the system that I get, though, I got a new mic right there. And last few times it was set to I. I think now I got it set good. Very quiet. Turn the volume up. Remember, you get a volume, turn that up. I can turn mine up a little bit, but then it's squeal. Okay, now if you can tell me, turn your volume up. You guys get volume also, because I'm watching it on my device here. And okay, now if you can tell me, turn your volume up. Yeah, just you turn the volume, volume up. Also. Can somebody uh, put, uh, turn your volume up? So then the one that cannot hear me, they know to turn the volume up. Because if I put my mic too high, then it's kind of, it, I don't know. I hate the voice when it's too high. And now I think I finally got it to a good setup. So coming back to this, you know, I live in Texas now. And we get all those wildflower, not just the blue bonnet. We get all those wildflower. It looked kind of daisy. Some of it are the yellow and orange. They are so pretty. Then we get the queen lace and we get all kind of flowers that they are wild. And it's completely beautiful. We get those cluster of purple, not the blue bonnet. It's just like those little two. So um, one day I was driving and I was like, mm, that would make a nice car. And for some reason today I was putting a, step, a stamp away and um, the dragonfly, I'm like, that's just what I need to do, Texas wildflower. So I'm using the dragonfly garden with the beautiful moment, something very different tonight. Um, I put the list all in the description so you can see everything that I'm using, exception of the blend, because I'm using all kind of color of the blends. So, um, awesome. I'm glad it sounds good. 
Uh, thank you, Sue, for putting that comment. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so that's what we're going to do tonight. But before we get started, I want to say thank you to everyone that joined me and Ollie yesterday on YouTube. Uh, people loved it, loved it, loved it. It was 80 card with one pack of paper. I know it's discouraging that expression in ink. It's not orderable right now. It's scheduled around the 28th of June, uh, but the layout that I did can be done with any pack of paper. So with one full pack of paper, you, uh, you get 80 cards with it. So um, right now with the free shipping, I'm going to have the hostess code there. If you use the hostess code, that you're going to get the PDF with an order of $35. But today we get free shipping till 11.59 Mountain Time tonight. So if you go to the 50, you're going to get free shipping. Oh, use the hostess code, you're going to get the download. If you want both of my customer appreciation, the one of last night and my monthly one, then it's with an order of $75. But remember, you get free shipping. Awesome. So yeah, I guess that, uh, I know I did like the card yesterday, but I'm very, oops, I cannot do that because I hit the mic. I'm very simple. So uh, I know some of you like what I call a 50 pound card, and that was not a 50 pound card yesterday. It was not fun folds. It was very basic. We had the strip cards and so on, but it was so many lovely comments. Thank you. Thank you so much. Talking about YouTube, this is my third time this week that I am live. I was live Tuesday at lunchtime on YouTube. I was live last night and now I'm live again tonight. So when you go to my channel or if you go at frenchystamps.com, right above you get my YouTube. Click on that and subscribe. So then when I go live unannounced like Tuesday, I did a one sheet wonder, then you can get notified. YouTube only send notification now when it's live. The other video, they don't send notification. But I post video most on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's a recorded video. Okay, let's stop the chit chat. Don't forget the free shipping and let's get started. Here we go. So, what I got here, what I got some ladybug. Well, the ladybug, we're going to use them tonight, and it's still some there at 50% discount. Those little ladybug, I think everybody need that for their cards. They are so, so cute, so cute. So we're going to get started with um, the beautiful moment. We're going to start stamp... Um, I feel like last night I got stuff all over. I got the mess of last night clean though. So we're going to start with a black. That's going to be the memento. And uh, the reason why I'm using memento, it's because I am using stamping blends. Now I'm going to take uh, a little bit higher than the center here to the right side. We're going to stamp our girl right there. Voila. Now, I really cannot debate, uh, I mean, I cannot decide if I want in the, yeah, I'm going to do in the black. And I'm going to show you different ones. So if you hold on with me to the end, I'm going to show you the cards that I did today. I got addicted to that today while working. I was like, oh, one more, one more. So I did three. So now I'm inking the daisy here with a uh, memento. We're going to start on the left side. I'm going just a little bit lower than the girly, okay? We're going to have one there. Now, <clears throat> it's, yeah, it's going to look kind of a mod podge first, okay? So don't panic till the card is over. Like I said last night, don't judge your card till you are done with it. Because then you're never going to like a card if you do that, if you judge it. One there. And it's stamp over, and that is perfectly fine. And I'm going to stamp right on top of her dress. That's perfectly fine. And a little bit higher there. So can you see that right now? It looked like she's in the wild feel, right? You know what? Just because of this face, I will reach my chamois here and I'm going to wash that big stamp so I don't drop anything on it and I can put that aside for now. So 
so then I don't have to worry if I put something on top of that. Now, we're going to use the blending brush and we're going to, no masking, absolutely no masking. This is going to be simple but and fun. So it's no masking. A lot of time we mask, I'm not even worried about masking. So I'm using Balmy Blue, okay? Balmy Blue, start on your scrap paper, push it down. Okay, now I'm going to add, I'm going around the girl, even if it go on the girl a bit, don't worry. She can be blue a little bit. It's all going to get fixed, okay? Now I'm just adding more here. Now that I push that down, I just push the ink down, really. Let's add a little bit more. So uh, did you guys see last night video? How many of you uh, here tonight that watched uh, last night? Tell us what you think about last night. Okay, so now you see I finish about equally here. I think I can go a little bit darker. And even if it's not uh, smooth, it's okay because it's the sky, okay? So don't worry if it's not smooth, smooth. A sky never been smooth before. Okay. And I'm going to go, I think, whoops, I cannot see the comments there. Last night was great. Awesome, awesome. I'm glad you guys like that. Okay, so now we get the blue. Now we're going to go with the green, and the green going to become scary a little bit, okay? Now, green. I get some on my finger. Okay, and somebody gonna win this card. I'm gonna announce the winner Sunday. So make sure to come check my um, Facebook page Sunday to see who won. I announced the winner, uh, winner on Sunday. Sunday mid-morning usually. I try to schedule that before I go to bed Saturday night. So now you see the top, I went down and here I go up. So that simple and I didn't cover anything no masking at all gonna be a little bit darker somebody watched the replay awesome awesome yeah and if you miss it you didn't see it you can watch the replay it's still up there oh you know what I have to stop one minute need to stop one minute Okay, this is important. I wanted to make sure to say that and I had a sticky note and I look on the side and I saw my sticky note there. Okay, so last week, and that happened more than last week, we got some people that don't know what to do with their time and they up on people's uh, lives Facebook and they try to make friends. Or I don't know if they try to make friends or they think this is a matchmaker or whatever it is. I'm going to tell you, if you see a comment below your name that they say, oh, I love your picture, I send you a friend request, blah, 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 block them, click report, okay? I don't see that when I'm live. Last week, um, by the time I went, somebody reported, I went to remove that, they were gone. A couple weeks ago, I had to block somebody, they go about the same name. So my best advice to you, if somebody during a live, it doesn't matter if it's my live or somebody else live, you get those funky, I call them funky, uh, comment below your comment, please just click report abuse or not appropriate or whatever. Uh, I don't want them here. Absolutely not. Like I said, I'm not a matchmaker. It's not what uh, this is about. And uh, I think it's people maybe trying to act account or I don't know. So just ignore that. Or like I said, it's those three little lines usually you can report. And, um, and please don't accept, don't accept a friend request on Facebook if you don't know the person. 
it doesn't matter if you think that oh she's friends with so and so i know that one that one it's so many accounts getting at so with that being said it's been a couple of years i don't accept friends requests if i never met the person now i don't accept friend requests on my personal page my personal page it's really personal but it's nothing much going on there uh, i share some time uh, my dog my kids very very little but if you want to follow me i get create and share with Frenchie. you're welcome to join there and write this page so um, if you send me a friend request and i never reply that must be why so but last week i guess that person it was a mark or i don't know the name i know the name but i shouldn't say more um what attack many of our followers here so please just ignore that try to block it and do not do not accept those friend requests please okay now we're going to go back to our card that was very important for me to announce that thank you thank you uh kathy yes i think you get attacked last week i think you were one of them if i remember correctly so many so many um uh, yep last week see karen too so please i'm telling you i'm not running a matchmaker so the one that come here for me be that or please ignore them don't uh, reply to them if you reply to them you just uh you know put a little bit more feed in their mouth and don't just thank you so um, i wanted to make sure that i was bringing that up i'm adding a little bit more blue here just at the top i want it darker you see the bottom here it's darker here we go that should be good now we can chit chat because i'm going to be coloring i'm going to use a uh, pumpkin pie and the pumpkin pie is going to be all the top of my cone. And really, I should color that girl first. I like to start with the biggest image for a card like this and go with that. And go from the biggest to the smallest. And some of it we're going to miss. It's no right and wrong on this. I'm going to even add some of the little flowers here, the one that get a little tough, some in the orange. I'm going to have some in different color. This one here, I'm going to put in the orange. Okay, I think I get the cones up. So let's do the girly girl first. I didn't bring a color for her hair, though. <clears throat> She's going to be a light brunette tonight, okay? So a light brunette. And uh, that's off suede, the light one. And I'm using the blends, but the word blend mean blending. I am not blending nothing. I just barely touched the cardstock to add some color. So I am not blending. You will not learn how to blend from me tonight. Uh, you're going to learn how to use the blend though to add colors. Now for the skin tone on this one, I'm using the ivory. It is the ivory. See, she had blue on her arms. Don't matter. It's get cover. See, it's still a little bit blue tone there, but very, very little, very little. Now, the dress, I'm going to do the dress in, mm, I'm doing it in yellow this time. I did the other one in different color. I'm going with yellow, and I'm going with Daffodil Delight. You know what? I'm going to go with Delight. That's what it's create on the fly. I'm allowed to change my mind as I go. So she gonna have a yellow flower, a yellow flower, a yellow um, dress today. And right now I can tell you uh, the pink dress was nicer. But I think yellow is still gonna be good. Huh. you know what i gonna add something to her dress hold on 
I'm using a black marker, and she's going to have a polka dot dress. See how my brain go as I work. I was not a fan. I could have color another thing on top of it, but I thought, wait a minute. I think if I add little polka dot on her dress, that's going to change the old view. And I think I'm going to like this. Little bikini polka dot yellow. What it's good that song? Itty bitty yellow uh, polka dot. See, now I got the polka dot dress. Is that change a lot? I think so. I like it now. Okay, now we're going to use the dark daffodil, and we're going to do kind of those wild daisy, cone flower, whatever they call. And I'm going to do all of them. And even if you go off, trust me, you're going to say, uh, that's long to color. I am not even worried if I pass the color on the side. It's just to add color, and you're going to think, well, that's pretty good. Wait when you see me color the little one. It's really tapping for colors. And all those little ones here. So yeah, you pretty much watch me um, color tonight. So you can chit chat between each other. Uh, it seemed that, um, I think it's very funny that, not funny, I think it's great also, that many people start talking and they're like, oh, you're from here and there, I'm from there and there. It's just amazing how people connect on a live Facebook. I am just blown away every time when I read the comment. And by the way, I read every comment. After the live, it's done. I read every bitty comment. I don't reply to all comment. Number one, um, when you reply too fast on a uh, comment on YouTube, then they shut you because they think you're a predator. <laughs> Okay, I think, oh, no, I get one more here. So as I go sometime, I find, oh, here's another one, another one. Okay, now I see a little bit more those of those puffy that I decide to do in the orange, that tip it's shot. See, when I started, it looked kind of funky, right? And as it going to get... Um, dressed up, I'm going to say it looked very different. Now we're going to use um, the green, that's the light. I'm using the light for the old olive. I'm using the light. We're going to do the leaves and it's a lot of leaves. So um, I like those little one right here, Those that's going to be in purple or blue, like the one that I told you that I think they're so pretty here. We get all, we get so many wildflowers and I live right here on the lake. So I think it's even more. So I'm just adding the leaf, the one that really look like leaves, those little, what I call those little tuff there. I won't bother with that. We're going to do that in different colors. And those one there, that's going to go in purple, purple or bluish. And over here. So it's a little bit more coloring than normal that you're going to uh, see, watch. But I was so excited when I finished that card today. I was, I couldn't wait to get live. I really couldn't wait to get live and share with you this scenery that I created. Okay, I'm going to keep that kind of open. Now I'm going to use, um, oh, Fresh Frisia. That's the purple that I'm going to use. And I'm going to add those little thing here. And you see, um, I add that, but I go just barely touch the paper to add those little dots. Oh, see a green right here. Oh, 
up right here. So now it's going to be quite a bit of purple. Some of it I'm going to do in the blue though. I had some in the purple and some in the blue. And I just barely touch where you get those little dots. See, I don't really color. I just touch. Uh, let's open a blue too. Good. I, I just uh, glanced a bit and I saw so I like this. I'm glad because, like I said, this is a little bit more watching me work than normal because usually I'm really on the fly. and But mm, I love this. And when I get excited about something, I have to share with somebody and you guys are the somebody. And I don't know how much you can see my pen going through this, but I barely touch my paper, barely. I saw some place I needed yellow here. Uh, barely touch the paper when, see, I just, oh, green. And I'm going to do some blue here. I mix a blue and the, the blue and the green. Oh, that's going to be orange here. Oh, that tip is shot, 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 shot. Okay. See, I go all past that. I It don't matter. You just touch to add some color, okay? You can, I don't want my hand to get dirty and then, and then we're going to add more green. Orange. You don't want to leave your blend open like what I'm doing. That's, it blends dry kind of quick because it's, um, it's alcohol. So don't say, well, I watch Frenchie and she keep her blend uh, open. That's a no-no, okay? Don't do that. It's just I'm trying to rush because it's kind of quite a bit of a... Uh... Okay, now I'm going to go in the blue here. Okay, that looked pretty good. So what do you think so far? Does it look like she's in the wild feel? I think so. Well, I told you not to leave that open. Oh, well, this, see the fiasco I did? I had too many uh, thing open. Okay, I'm still missing my green cap. Here it is. It's just walk away. I didn't put it there. It walk away. Here we go. Now I'm going to use this little one here. Uh, that is part of the um, beautiful moment right here. This one. We're going to use that and we're going to add more green with that. So I need my old olive. It's just fill a little bit the wildflower look here. Okay, now, oh, I forgot to close a, a blend here. Uh, what did I see? Oh, she got her flowers in her hand that I didn't color. I see some arts, thank you. I'm glad I'm not the only one that like this. It's kind of a mod podge, but like I said, you have to finish the card before you judge it. I think that's the main thing. People look at their card and they're like, mm-mm. And if you would give yourself a chance to finish it, you would be surprised of the finished look. Here we go. Okay, now we're going to crank it up a notch. That's going to be wet the scallop and contour this one here 
Oh, we're going to do that on black. So we're going to cut that at four and a quarter. We're going to flip this at five and a half. We're going to score. Now I need a white sheet though. And that for the inside, you want a heavy copy paper or a, the light uh, one, not the heavy one, white. And we're going to cut that at four. And then we're going to um, score that at five and a quarter. And then five, ten, a ten and a half long we need it. So we're going to cut half inch here. Here we go. So that's going to be our insert because I, I say many times when it's white, you, uh, I mean black, you want a full insert. Okay, I'm just going to cut this piece. Oh, that's the piece we need. I almost did wrong. Okay, we're going to cut this piece in two here. Okay, now we're going to take... Um, that's, don't need that. We're going to take this frame here and I'm going to cut the frame, okay? I got my machine right here. Well, you know what? Let me bring that. Maybe, oops. Hmm. Okay. Now we're going to cut this. You're kind of, oh, maybe if I bring it more this way. Like I said, I got just so much room here, right? Here we go. So uh, we're going to cut uh, the scallop frame. And when it's a frame like that, you want to tilt it a little bit. So it starts engaging at one point. It's a lot friendlier than if you go straight. You don't have what I call the speed bump if you go diagonal, okay? Make a big difference. Now, we're going to remove this. Now, this year, all those little dots, you just shove that aside. It's for the one that passed the broom. And by the way, that it's me. Okay, now we're going to go with our design here. Not design, what we work with. Now we're going to use the other size frame, the scallop frame, the biggest one in the full scallop there. And that we're going to... You want to put that straight, okay? And you're going to understand why. I could add my girl a little bit lower, but it's done. Done is done. Now, you see it's all straight. Put that at the top. If you want to skip a step, you wouldn't have to have that straight, but you're going to understand in a minute why I wanted that straight. And you know what I didn't do? I should have went sideways. You heard the kapluk, kapluk, and it was kind of tight. I didn't put my scallop, uh, my frame sideways. It make a big difference if you put it sideways. Keep that in mind when you cut any piece of like big rectangle, square, and so on. Okay, now we will, okay, let me uh, put those frames away, those die away so I don't get a fiasco. Uh, just a few uh, that stuck there. Tap it, boom, it's out. It is a friendly, oh, one more. See, you don't even have to poke it. Love a die set that you don't have to poke. I don't have the poking patient. Okay, now this piece, usually we would toss that away, right? But it's a reason why I say you wanted to cut it straight. Now you're going to take your uh, card base here. That's in basic black. We're going to put our frame on it, the open frame. And I strongly recommend to use tumble glue on that. So if you're not straight right away, you get the time to uh, switch that around. So we're going to mount that straight on this. 
And by the way, I, I don't think I give you the measurement. This piece that we started, it is um, four by five and a quarter. Four by five and a quarter, okay? Now we got this. Now we're gonna take our frame here. Oh, see, barely nothing left. It's a very friendly die. And we're gonna put that on top of this. You see where I'm going now, right? Put that right here. So it fit perfect in this. Oops, oops, oops. I shook it a little bit too much. You don't want to shook it too much. Here we go. Remember, flip it. No, it's the week of no ways today, Renee. Did a one sheet wonder, was no ways. I did the card last night, 80 cards, no ways. And now I'm doing this, no ways. So yeah, I can honestly say that what I shared this week was no ways. That's funny that it all lined up this way this week. That corner was stubborn a little bit, so I just add some of the, the glue. And now, ta-da, is that, oh, flipping awesome, I think. It dress up the cards so lovely, so, so lovely. So, we're going to glue that there. I think this is just, mm, I love this card, love it. Well, you know, I like the outdoor. I like, uh, well, I said the trees are my flowers. I surely do love wildflowers, though. If you ever buy me flowers, just go stop on the side of the road and pick me wild flowers. And I'm going to say, ooh, so much nicer than um, roses. I'm not a rose person. Oh, I like those arts. I like the wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Now, we're going to add our little, little ladybug. So, we're going to use real red. I like the wow. Okay, so I'm using real red and I try um, cherry cobbler. Cherry cobbler, it's almost too dark for with the bronze for the ladybug. So I just use real red. I thought cherry cobbler, you know, darker would make it easier, but it's almost too dark. So uh, real red for the blends, it's much better. Now we're going to use glue dots. Those cute little ladybug there, they're at 50% off. And remember, it's free shipping to 11.59 Mountain Time tonight. So keep that in mind. It's time to look at the last chance from the annual catalog, uh, not annual, but the mini catalog and stock up. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you guys say it was worth uh, watching me color all that. Like I said, it was a little bit more than normal in the colors, right? And then we're going to use the greeting. Um, it is thinking of you or it's someplace here. Thinking of you. We're going to stamp that with... You know what? I think I won't stamp the greeting on this. We're going to stamp the greeting inside. You're going to be able to see the difference. Yes, the bee would be nice also. I do have the bee. I'm a big fan of Ladybug. It's a story behind Ladybug when my daughter was two and we were at Disney. The only thing with the bees, they're well, a little bit bigger, but see, they don't jump at you like the red Ladybug. Not for this card. If it would be on a different flower, absolutely, I love those bees. Or if I put it on the black, then you betcha the bee would be awesome there. 
but the little ladybug in the red really eye catching and by the way those cute uh, beads are back in stock the beads in the ladybug are so so cute and they're um, just with a glue dot and boom so this is going to be our inside of the card here remember when it's black I said we use a full insert so what we're going to do we're going to use the I won't color this one so let's use another ink pad and I just want to stamp that with the yellow oh somebody gonna have a little smudge there but that's okay it's going inside it won't show where it goes so again let's stamp this there just a nice border at the bottom that when that set came out I was so excited and then it seemed oh it's new stuff new stuff and your favorite st uh, set start calling dust well let me tell you I was an epic camper playing with the dragon uh, fl uh, dragonfly garden now I'm going to take the thinking of you and I'm going to put that right here et voila Okay, now the way that I like to put this, I don't glue the whole thing. And I don't recommend you to glue the whole thing. And the reason why, if you glue the whole thing inside here, when you open it up, it's no give and it's going to bow and so on. So the best way to do an insert, a full insert, I would say, put a strip of glue at the top. You're going to take this close, put that right at the edge there. Close this. Now open this up. Do the same thing in the back. You could do it just on one side. I always do it on both sides though. So that way it's going to open nice and also it's going to stand nice well let's reinforce the score line and voila so that is my take on this lovely card so somebody will win this lovely here so i'm going to sign that and I need something when I'm going to mail that. We need something to mail that in, right? Let me grab an envelope. And I won't even re ink this here, but I didn't wash it. So, always to the left. And I got place for my address there. So, now I get the envelope that matched that. So, do you guys want to see the other one that I did today? Would you guys like to see that? Okay, so, uh, like tonight, I did the yellow dress because I thought the yellow would go good with the blue. And I was not happy with just the plain yellow, so I did the polka dot. I think the polka dot was great. Now, uh, here is, that was my second attempt, I think. See, I put the thinking of you there. And this one, beside this one, you see the girl, it's a little bit lower. Okay. And then, uh, that was my second attempt. This was, then I got in, uh, this is Real Red, the light Real Red dress. And this one, I wanted to do one without any of the die cuts. Because I know some people don't have the die cut and I don't want you to be discouraged because you think you cannot do this card because you don't have the die cut or dies and so on. So here it is without any die cut, but I added the ribbon there. Now here is one that, that's the one that I did the ladybug. This one didn't have the ladybug. Uh, this one, it's with the stitch rectangle. But if you have to choose between a dies, I think this is very much more striking with the scallop. And this year it's a flirty flamingo the dress. Now, both of them are stamped all with memento ink. Now, this one here, 
the dress it's Stampin' Memento Inc. See, she got a flower right in her behind, but it's because she's in front of the flowers. The flowers, it's in the field, my friend. It don't belong to the dress. It's just the field, right? Um, so this one here, if you see, I stamped the flowers with old olive. And also, did I stamp this one, the flower with old olive? So here's the one that's stamped with black, the one with the black frame, and here is the one with, here we go. So stamp in green, the girl, it's all stamped in the black, okay? But this is stamp in green, this is stamp in black. Now, if you missed last night, 80 cards with one pack of paper right above, right here, cheek, right up here, the 6 a.m., U-H-N-Q, that's the hostess code you're going to need with an order of $35, or remember with $50 you get free shipping, so that's $35 before tax and shipping, or an order uh, $50 before tax, you're going to get shipping, and then you're going to get the download of yesterday how to make 80 cards with a pack of designer series paper without any waste at all also if you bump it up to 75 you get the free shipping you're going to get the download of yesterday plus my monthly customer appreciation that is uh, the 24 cards with um let me think after the storm so i hope you enjoy tonight like I said, that was a lot of life this week. I was live Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Well, you know what? I love sharing what I love to do. So it happened. It is stamping. Now, I need to get my device here so I can turn that off when it's time. So thank you. Have a lovely weekend. Um, I will be back here next Thursday. Uh, I know some people were saying, are you going to be live on the 1st? That's Canadian Day. Yeah, I will be live. We're going to celebrate those Canadian because July 1st, it's Canada Day. And then really July 4th, I say it's the U.S. Day. It's Independence Day. But uh, Canada, it's the 1st. So that is it, my friend. Till next time, happy, happy stamping. And um, don't forget, free shipping in tonight. Bye-bye for now.